a couple seconds, but you have the opportunity to sit down and have an extensive conversation with him. There's a lot to be learned, and I got, got away with a lot of it. What would you take away from that? Uh, I mean, a lot, but for the most part, there's a lot about, you know, not mostly just ball, but also business. And how at the end of the day, like, it all comes down to how you perform, you know? All the stuff you do off the field, all the stuff that comes with it, the stuff that he's going to have coming to him after his career. It's not because he's a great dude, he is. It's because he was a dom he dominated on the football field, you know? So just yeah. keeping the main thing the main thing. And then uh, hearing about just stories of his and advice on quarterback play was pretty cool. That's cool. As far as on the field for you the first couple of days, what, what do you think? What are you getting up to speed with? What do you need to work on? It's been good. I mean, a lot. Uh, I need to work on everything, just trying to get better every day. Now it's good that whereas rookie minicamp, it was like all new stuff the night before, all the stuff we've ran for the, we've running now for the most part, we've already ran. So it's kind of like testing our recall. Uh, we're not just kind of getting thrown in there. We know what to expect. We're going to get looks that we've probably seen, maybe not before yet, but um, opportunities to work on and develop from what we learned at, over rookie minicamp. Well, how's the thing been from playbook to field in regards to that transition for you? Seeing, running through things you learned the night before and stuff? Uh, it's good. I think, I, think, um, I think that's something that all of us needed to learn very, very quickly, like the amount of material that's expected to be known. Um, college, it's, you know, it's definitely a lot, but it's just taking it to that next level. And all of us who are in the hotel, you know, we're in there studying with each, with each other, getting in and um, getting in a room and going over the script and what, what we're going to have doing. So it's been so much more important for each of us to be locked in for each other, not just for ourselves. How much you're able to, to do out here now without thinking, is any of it muscle memory yet as far as the playbook goes? Uh, a little bit. I think I definitely need to get to a point where it's just like, you know, second nature. And uh, uh, we have a lot on us as, as quarterbacks. It's a quarterback-centric offense for sure. So I think right now I have a step-by-step step -step process that I like to make sure I stick by. And as, as things go, go by, that process will just get faster and faster. What, what have you picked? Like we'll get, kind of get on the same page, get in rhythm with your new receivers. I, I know it's early, but how, how's mm -hmm. that thing be going so far? Yeah, I mean, it's all about chemistry. It's all about, you know, the timing and even with – simple things like motions with plays. We talk about just the most important thing right now for us is just operation. We want to be able to out, get out there, get lined up correctly, be clean on our uh, cadences and, um, you know, get everyone getting off, getting off the right way at the right time and timing up our motions. And those motions are different depending on the receiver, you know. So sometimes it might be a little too early, it might be a little too late. This is where we work out the kinks and get to know those guys. And I'm taking advantage of every rep I can get, not just on the field, but back there and taking mental reps whenever I can when Ryan and Malik are taking reps. What do you think? I mean, just how to handle yourself as a professional in a, in a, on an NFL team. And it's been great to see him, you know, take, uh, take charge in the meeting rooms and, and stepping in and giving words of advice to uh, his receivers. I mean, that's where um, being, a, being a 10 year NFL vet comes into uh, handy. You know, you know exactly what you're, what you're looking for on specific plays and can, can step in as more of a coach. And I just aim to get to that point eventually in my career. Your off-season work has been going. It looks like you've been, at least out here today, what we saw, a lot more decisive with the football, a lot more comfortable. Uh, just trying to get better every day, you know, focusing on what I can control on. What kind of stuff have you done this off-season? A lot, you know, it's been a long off-season. A lot of time since the last game we played. What What's is your like mindset to... approaching, you know, this season, knowing, you know, Levis got drafted, it's a big off-season training camp for you. How are you approaching this, uh, this period? I mean, what does knowing that change, you know? Uh, you go to work the same way. It don't matter. What, what it happened? I guess, I guess you too, compared to this time last year, everything from last year, how much you were doing so much you for us. How much you think that will help you? I'm just trying to grow each day, you know, uh, learn from what we did last practice. And that's about it right now. What was your first reaction when you realized there would be a little more competition in the quarterback room this year? I mean, is it? You know, it's the same amount of competition. You're competing against yourself every day. You don't go competing against guys. You don't go looking over your shoulder. You just try to get better, bro. Do you feel like you're competing more? Or does that having an extra person in that room, do you have any more motivation? Just trying to get better every day. I mean, take that how you take that. Y'all control the narrative. What would you do here, Malik, and what would you do maybe when you're away from here as far as preparing for, for what's going on now? I mean, just trying to do the best I can to get better every day, whether that's on the field or off the field, uh, watching film and just trying to focus on whatever the script has for the next day and just trying to use these opportunities and these reps uh, through this spring process and just try to keep improving. How do you feel body-wise? You look like you're in pretty good shape. You, you think so? I appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, I've just been working hard, bro. I mean, all you can do is go to work every day, try to get better than you were yesterday.
imagine there's I feel like coming out of college that was kind of my main thing too and I got here and I was primarily um, I, I played pretty much two positions and now I feel like I want to kind of expand onto that and just be able to help out wherever I can. Is that you coming to the coaches to say that or did they come to you asking you to do a little bit more? Um, I think they come to me, you know what I mean? And I kind of already, I just, like I said, no matter where I'm at um, in this league, it's like the more versatile you are, the more you're able to kind of help out um, and be able to play anywhere. You talked about getting to know your body a little better. Just mm -hmm. How do you go about doing that? What do you have to do to kind of figure yourself out? Um, a lot of times, like with, with, you know, from doctors or whatever, there's there's timelines, and a lot of times, like people don't hear the, heal the same way um, for whatever whatever type of issue. So just kind of like readjusting my expectations and like listening to my body. I'm a guy who like I feel like I like to push through uh, discomfort and stuff, but like kind of knowing where that line is to stop. Um, yeah, that's really helped me out. Isaiah, what did you learn about yourself? Um, I feel like. Um, just like kind of the way I handle adversity, I think I'm, I'm proud of the way I handle adversity. Um, really, ever since I came into the league, I feel like, um, especially last year, you know what I mean? There's a lot of, I feel like there was expectations on me to get back and, and, um, and I wasn't ready. My body wasn't ready, you know what I mean? But uh, it was the toughest thing I ever had to go through in my life. But I feel like it just kind of built me into the man I am like today, you know what I mean? Not even just... <laughs> Uh, here in the facility and with, with my teammates, but actually like at home as a husband and a, and a son and a brother. You what did you do? Fight through the adversity, but how important is it to avoid the adversity? Personal. Yeah, adversity? yeah, that, that's yeah. I mean, there, it's, uh, there's a fine line between just kind of like. I feel like you gotta you gotta go with your gut a lot of the time, and and um, kind of a young you know a young guy like me, I feel like I'm someone who I, I like to kind of push it, push it and you outwork everyone. But there's sometimes where if you outwork people. It's going to end up costing you. That's kind of what it came down to.